Hey, hey, System Coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Volsport Career Mode. And guys, you are unbelievable. And hopefully, you will continue your amazing streak. If we could get this video to 3,000 likes as well, I will be so happy, boys. That's just it. It's just not going to do anything else apart from making me very, very happy. So if you guys want to do that, go ahead and hit that like button today, boys. We got to look back at the loss against Dortmund. 4-2 we lost in our first Bundesliga game. We had high hopes to make an epic comeback into the game. It didn't work out. Dortmund scored the fourth goal as it stood 3-2 and then everything was over. But then we realized one thing. Our defense wasn't good enough. Udokai, as much as a good talent he is, I just need to get a proper center back into my team who is at least 80 rated. And I've looked through the comments thoroughly. You guys brought in a lot of great suggestions and I have two players in there who I'm really interested in. So we will start off this episode by me going after these two center backs. Hopefully one of them joining us in the end. So here's a comment from The Gulliver. He says, just go for Kevin Vogt from Hoffenheim. He's amazing. Now Vogt is a guy that I remember being the captain at Hoffenheim when they played against Liverpool. I believe that was last year. Um, those games, he was one of the main guys and Demirbay was also an amazing player for them. Kevin Vogt, 25 years old, six foot four tall. Sprint speed looks amazing. A at least 84 for someone who is six foot four tall. That is incredible. So as I looked at these stats, I was like, oh boy, we got to get this guy into our team. He must be a really good center back. Now, again, it is, this is not one of your main high potential signings. This is a unique signing, guys. I want to continue making unique signings so that this career mode feels different. We want to make this a special one and Kevin Vogt might just be the perfect guy for that instance. So right now, we'll be going after him at first. If he doesn't work out, we will be going for the comment of Robin Daleman. He says, sign Niklas Stark from Hertha. Now that guy, I have been suggested to buy in a lot of career modes so far, but I have never really bought him, which tells me that he probably has very high potential, but I don't think he's already at the rating that I want him to be. Now, if I look at the stats, stats of this Kevin Vogt guy, I think he might be around... He might be around 79. I think he... Yeah, probably 79. That's what I'm expecting. Um, I'm really hoping that he will be even higher rated. That'll be perfect because we are looking for someone who's around the 80 rating. But if he's 79 with those stats and the sprint speed like that, he will be OP. And uh, right now, let's shortlist him. And he's a leader of men as well. So he could be our future captain. His value is set at 13.5 million at least. With this transfer, we kind of know where we have to start off with our uh, value in our offer so let's jump right in there we will be offering a transfer actually do i have any center backs left that i can offer uh not really i guess we have tisserand who is 24 years old 75 rated i do want to have some backup center backs so knoche and tisserand would be our backups but if we do get folked obviously we would have four really good center backs with two of them being uh backups so i guess we can offer this guy right here actually you know what i would rather offer knoche because i don't feel like he's going to be growing at any point um they are looking to bring in a striker that's not going to be happening so we will just go in here we have 25 million in our transfer budget and i am going to be offering 11 million at first just just kind of feeling out how this one might go uh sell on clause of 15 percent 11 million and 15 percent come on hoffenheim let me buy this player he could be a beast for us they want 18.9 now obviously he is 13.5 uh, what his value is right now um on the market but they want more than that which is not something that i'm surprised about so we can just go in here we could offer them uh, it's around 19 million let's put it down to 15 yeah let's put it down to 15 and see what they say maybe they might get, go down to like 17.5 still stuck here uh, at 18.9 uh, all right let's try one more time uh let's try 16.5 i'm trying really hard here 
to somehow make this happen. He's still stuck at 18.9. That is a lot of money, you know, but we desperately do need a center back in our team and a six foot four center back with that sprint speed. That seems very interesting to me. And again, a unique signing. So we'll go up to 17.5. Please, come on. Just, just, just do a little bit of dealing here with me. Just don't get stuck at the price. Perfect. We have a deal, 17.5 million, um, they have accepted Hoffenheim, the club has already agreed, now the question is, what do we do with the deal in the contract, 35k is what he gets currently, he has a two year contract, so uh, we can definitely go ahead and buy him, and I also saw that he can play in the CDM position, so if we do need a CDM, who is obviously more on the defensive side of things, he could be a decent player, but the fact that he can also play CDM tells me that his passing play should be quite good. So he wants to be a crucial player in our team, uh, which I probably will accept right now. And then we'll move on. Three years contract, I'm happy with that. Three years, then he'll be 28 by the time the contract runs out. Uh, no release clause, even better. And then the wages, will they be offering anything? No, we will have to go ahead and type it in ourselves. So 35k is his wages at his club currently. We'll just go up to 40, um, offering a sign bonus of 400k. Let's see what he says. Maybe he's happy with that. Maybe he's not. They go down to 34k, but they want a signing bonus of 510k. And after 20 appearances, they want 770k as well. So 1.2 million in bonuses, but the wage goes down to 34k. I'm happy with that. Vogt has now joined our team. Wolfsburg has made their third big signing. That man has a nice haircut, nice beard as well. I'm happy that he has now joined our club, boys. Welcome. So let's see, is he 79 rated? Please be 79 or higher. He is 80 rated, but he has a red card. Okay, um, so we won't be able to put him onto the bench already. Let's just put him up here instead of Knoche. And let's take a look at the detailed stats. 81 aggression, 82 interceptions, um, sprint speed 85, strength 85, stamina is looking all right to me. Reaction 77, which is also quite nice to see. Then we have the heading accuracy at 78, which is not amazing, but he's six foot four tall. So I'm expecting him to get to a lot of the uh, crosses. Ball control is okay for a center back. Dribbling is all right. Uh, we go down, long passing is on 83, short passing is on 74, stand tackle on 81. One slide tackle on 78 that seems like a very very good signing boys three star weak foot right footed welcome man i can't wait to use him i genuinely think alongside brooks this guy will be an absolute beast for us i think it's smart if this is the last transfer we make in this transfer window guys because i want to be able to have money in my club to use it for uh, the january transfer window loan offer for camacho are you mad fiorentina what the hell he's 27 years old are you all right boys definitely not happening we have an offer for ita though it's a one-year loan he can definitely go he's an amazing talent 67 rated has a release clause as well we got to be careful with that one we don't want him to grow too much but let's accept the loan deal he will be gone and hopefully when he comes back we can just go ahead and offer him a new contract and get him into our team now it's the time to redeem ourselves we are going back into the bundesliga eintracht frankfurt a team that has been doing a really really good job and we are now coming up against them if we want to go for the title these are the types of teams that we need to smash we cannot go i mean not need to smash it is obviously a top half of the league table team eintracht frankfurt has been improving massively and i just wanted like put a stamp on it i just want everyone in the bundesliga to know the first match that we had against uh, dortmund there that's not what this Wolfsburg team is about. Again, this game, we cannot use the new centre-back that we got into our team, sadly. We'll be up against Kevin prince Boateng and his squad. Yunus Mal Mali will be leading our midfield, hopefully getting a victory right here. Two losses or even a draw right here would be just, just not good enough. We need to be a lot better. Wolfsburg, it's your time to shine. Vitinho, big steal, gets the ball back though. Here's Arnold, four-star weak foot. Ooh, it hits the post. I thought that was about to go in. A very, very impressive shot from Arnold there. We pass it back though. We move it to Max. Max. He does see someone in the middle. Camacho. 
I need someone to help me out right here. We got Demarcos on the run. Can Demarcos actually shoot? Oh, yes, he can! <laughs> what a strike from Oscar Demarcos! A couple of you guys were not too happy with the signing of Oscar De Marcos. A lot of you were saying, hey, come on, bring in a talented player. But I wanted the complete package. And this is the complete package. Take a look at that strike from Oscar De Marcos. First goal in this match has been scored by our right back. And what a touch that is right there. Gets it around the defender, up and above. And what a goal. 1-0, Oscar De Marcos. What a way to introduce yourself to the Wolfsburg fans in the first two matches. Oh, and by the way, I didn't have the chance to say this. But let's go Liverpool. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Manchester City obviously got beaten by Liverpool. We got really lucky offside and all of that stuff. We got really, really lucky in both of the ties. But man, the fans are insane, aren't they? Liverpool made it through, man. I was so happy. When we were down 1-0 after Gabriel Jesus' goal, I was so upset. I can just tell you. I was just sitting at the birthday dinner for my mom looking at my phone anxiously to get like a notification that Manchester City scored another goal to just go ahead and shit my pants. But luckily, Liverpool pulled through and Mo Salah is a god. That man needs a statue. Here they come, Mascarell. Great pass down the left. Williams with the cross. Castells comes out. I've also seen a lot of comments talking about our goalkeeper. I can't really tell if he's good or bad. We will have to see for half a season at least to then just go ahead and make our decision considering the goalkeeper. What a pass that is, though. Oh, yes. Vitinho. Five-star skills for a reason. And then the pass. The pass is just awful. Acebe plays it back to Williams. Williams with his left foot. He's definitely capable of bringing a good cross. But Origi and the boys are now moving forward with pace. Origi into Yunus. I see you there, Vitinho. Vitinho making his run. I see you back there, Mali. Mali, get in there. Finish it, son. What a finish. What a strike. 2 0. Wolfsburg in the 57th minute after. Uh, after? After <laughs> the dramatic loss against Dortmund. This is exactly what we need. This is what we need. We need a clean sheet and goals everywhere. And Vitinho, great assist yet again. I, I don't think he has scored a goal yet, but I think he's currently sitting on two assists in two games. If you, if you guys remember with Aubameyang in our Arsenal career mode, we had like 25 assists or something at the end of the season. Maybe Vitinho gets there as well. I have Origi right here. With the scoop turn, Origi now over into Vitinho. Vitinho with them. Nice dribblings. Vitinho cuts inside. Can he finish it? Oh my god. I failed there. One on one against the keeper. I just didn't put enough power onto it. It could have been a very nice goal from Vitinho. Arnold, good pass, mate. Camacho. Ooh, that was dirty. Can he shoot as well? Oh, yes, he can. Yes, he can. The ball roll. The defender fell on his buttocks. <laughs> and Camacho is actually apparently able to take long shots as well. I don't even know if he's a right footer, to be honest with you guys. But I don't care because that goal was beautiful. We will see it from multiple angles once again. Sadly, we didn't see how he did put down that defender with the ball roll. But as you could see, Vitinho was keeping the defenders away from Camacho right there, pushing them ahead so that they couldn't push towards him because otherwise, with a pass, he would have been through and would have scored with him. But Camacho, two goals so far in two matches in the Bundesliga. Impressive for a CDM. We're into the 92nd minute. 3-0 to Wolfsburg. This is just what we needed, man. The team has come in clutch after a ridiculously bad performance, especially in the first half against Dortmund. But now, boys, we continue our good form from the second half against Dortmund. As you can see, three goals scored, clean sheet, a couple of problems with Yudokai in the uh, centre-back position because... He just isn't strong enough. He is not really able to push players away. So I'm really, really looking forward to see uh, Kevin Vogt come into our centre-back position, show a lot more presence than the youngster is showing right now, who obviously in the future might be an amazing player, but right now, it's not his time yet. 
3-0, three points, we're back. Oh, there's an offer. Robin Knoche, 7.5 million is what they're offering. It is CSK Moscow coming in for him. I'm perfectly happy with this. We are accepting 7.5 million. Now that Vogt has joined us, we are looking to offload at least one of our uh, center backs. I think Tisserand is probably the better player in between these two. So Knoche will be leaving for 7.5 million, which then strengthens up our budget for the January transfer window because right now as the team is I'm happy with it I don't want to change too much right now we will have to figure out if this team is perfect if it's not in the January transfer window we can go again bring in some transfers that's what we will do so if we do sell uh, Knoche for 7 million we will definitely be above 10 million once again and then until that point if I don't like certain players we can sell them in the Jan January transfer window and make an even even bigger transfer um, Stindl has joined Hoffenheim. Okay, okay, that's interesting. So a really, really good attacking midfielder has moved over to Hoffenheim right now. We are on transfer deadline day. So we will take a look at a couple of deals that are happening on this day. Bottom right corner, Asensio to Arsenal. Wouldn't Arsenal fans be happy with that, man? I really think that Asensio might be on his way out, but I'm, I'm kind of concerned because I kind of feel like he is an incredible talent. But he will never really get too much playing time at Real Madrid because the expectations are so high for attacking uh, players. So we'll see what happens with Asensio in real life. But Knoche, 6 million has been allocated to our budget. He is now gone. Tisserand Udokai will be our backup centre-backs. And then we'll have Vogt and Brooks in our team. Brooks moves over to the left centre-back position. He's a left footer. And Vogt will be moving over to the right-hand side. Now, let's move on. Let's get to our one. And then we'll take a look at the biggest transfer deals today. The biggest transfer deals right here. Asensio was the top one, 67 million. Raheem Sterling has moved over to Italy for 51 million. Okay, Gelson Martins has joined Real Madrid for 42. So Asensio has left and Martins has joined. So we know who has replaced him right there. Um, Jaco moved over to Real Madrid for 41 million. I've seen a lot of comments saying that I should bring back Jaco because obviously he was uh, one of the main players that, they, that got Wolfsburg their last trophy in the Bundesliga. So that was kind of a thought that I had, but he's 31 years old. And now added to that, he has joined to Real Madrid. So obviously not going to be happening right there uh promise 40 million wow spurs is splashing the cash right there uh felipe anderson moves over to valencia ah there's a transfer for the bundesliga cuadrado has joined Bayern munich interesting signing another real madrid transfer they're buying a lot of players aren't there uh kramaric 33 million crystal palace Nice signings, man. Nice, nice signings. Anything for the Bundesliga, though? Let's check out. Okay, Savica has joined Schalke. Went from Leipzig to Schalke. So, kind of downgraded, I guess. I don't know. They're on the same level right now. Uh, Stindl and Hoffenheim. Good signing there, obviously. Um, anyone else from the Bundesliga? Pereira. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. 22 million for Pereira. That's an impressive transfer right there. They have brought in one of the best right backs in the game right now. Um, uh, Stoke have gotten Castro. Okay. And that's about it. Gaspar to Leverkusen. That will be the last one that we take a look at, boys. A lot of transfers have been made. We have finally won our first game in the Bundesliga. And now it's time to focus on these competitions. No more transfers. It's all about the Bundesliga and the DFB Pokal. So Dortmund, after two games, is the leading team in the league. They have only conceded two goals, and those two came from us. So their next game, they haven't conceded a single goal. Gladbach is in the second position with six points, and Bayern obviously up there as well, currently with four points. Haven't lost the game yet. It'll be interesting to see if there will be any team that goes unbeaten for a very long time, because we have not we have seen that a lot in our uh, past career modes, and maybe in this league it might happen again. Obviously, after Dortmund have beaten us, maybe they will be the favorites to go ahead and do that. But hopefully will be good enough to beat everyone in the first half of the league. That would be awesome, but probably not happening. So before I get into my next game, I think I should be putting a couple of instructions on my players. What I want to do with my wingers is I don't want them to act as strikers. I want these guys to stay wide because when they stay wide, I can go ahead and play some really deadly balls into them. And most importantly, 
I can just cut inside myself. I don't need the CPU to just go ahead and cut inside for me. I want to do it myself at the right time with the ball at their feet. With the Beba spin, obviously, as you guys know, that is a very, very effective method. Now, for Yunus Mali, I don't want him to really get involved into the defense too much. Um, Camacho, he will be staying back. Arnold will be just balanced everywhere. And then for Max and Demarcos, I think Max should stay back. Demarcos... He can decide. I'm I'm happy with him moving forward because he has the qualities. Max, not so much. So we'll use the team like this. Hanova hasn't lost a game in their first two matches. That's the reason why I'm not simming against them. Now, the last time we played at home, we lost against Dortmund and I need to make up for that. Now, in this career mode, guys, I want you to just tell me. Um, normally, when I do play my career modes, I tend to put the weather on clear most of the time because I just don't want the quality of the video to be bad because sometimes Sometimes if you have uh, like bad lighting, especially in this stadium, you have huge shadows on the pitch. So when we play at home, most of the games will be under floodlights. But if you want me to, I can just have like different types of weathers all of the time instead of just clear because that kind of makes the gameplay a little bit different most of the time if you have like snow, if you have rain. Um, if you want me to, to, to go ahead and like adjust the weather according to the month that we are in, please let me know in the top right corner if you just want clear weather all the time, best quality, or if you want me to go ahead and adjust the weather according to when we are playing. So let me know in the top right corner, just a little bit of an important thing for me to know while I'm doing this career mode. So help me out now, I will help out my players scoring goals. Philip Max though, gets it back straight away. Arnold, I need to find the spaces. I need to find the spaces, but so far we haven't found them. Now though, Yunus Mali with a great pass into Vitinho. Vitinho, what a strike! That's his first goal. 29th minute, or actually 30th minute. Vitinho, in his third game, he gets a goal. Now the deal is, I know that a lot of people won't really think that Vitinho is the right, like the perfect striker. He obviously isn't tall. He obviously isn't the strongest player, but I truly believe he can be one of the most fun players to use. The one thing that I absolutely love about this card though, or this player though, is that he has a five star weak foot. So if he goes up in his ratings, let's say he gets up to like an 80 rating this season, he'll be able to take shots with both of his feet from like outside the box as well. That will be very valuable. If you are in like the 90th minute, everyone is pressuring you and you can only cut to his left foot, that will be coming in huge. Coelho dos Santos, it says, instead of Vitinho. Okay. Mali, Vitinho will bring it down to the right. We have Origi who stays wide. He then gets the ball into Vitinho. Vitinho will be looking back into Origi. Origi now with the dribbling. Origi is running through. He has the strength. He has the skills. He will cut back inside. Origi! Unlucky, my man. That's a thing that we have in our team, though. We have three four-star skillers up front. We can do a lot of damage, and Vitinho, obviously, with the five-star skills, is coming in clutch, too. But a lot of skill goals will be coming in in the future. Corner kick now in the second half, right at the beginning. This could be important if we didn't have a Kevin Vogt in there. The guy is huge. He's towering over everyone in our uh, defense as well. And obviously the offense of our opponents. But here we go on the counter with Yunus Mali now seeing Origi down the right. That is an incredible pass from Mali. Mali gets it back though. Origi turns back. He has Mali in support. What a goal this could be. And what a goal this will be. Wow. Oh, the passing play was unbelievable. Kevin Vogt starting off with the header coming out of our defense. Then we play the pass into Mali, a couple of one twos with Yunus and Origi, and then we are through and we score. That is the most impressive goal we have scored so far. Three goals in three matches for Yunus Mali, who has been a lot better than I expected him to be. I thought he was smaller, but he's not. And I thought he was bad physically, but he's not. So I kind of underestimated him as much as I did with Ozil. These guys are better physically than I expected them to be. Brooks, Vogt, Brooks, Mali, Arnold. Mali is running through. We got him right there. Mali plays it through. And what a finish. Oscar Guys, 
I'm telling you, this guy is an absolute monster. I'm happy that I told him not to stay back. He can decide whatever he wants to do. And that is the reason why Oscar De Marcos is such an amazing attacking right back. And Yunus Mali is on fire. He is having some amazing games. Now, you might be looking at this episode thinking, all right, he smashed two teams already. Bundesliga, too easy. Trust me, guys, inconsistency is my biggest, biggest issue. You will see, see me fail as you did in the first match of the Bundesliga. Just because I'm composed and calm right now doesn't mean I'll be like this tomorrow. I might be playing my worst FIFA tomorrow. That's the way how I am. Vogt chasing down Klaus. Vogt doesn't have the most stamina, but he will be clutching this tackle. Blasikowski down the right hand side. He is abusing the pace that he still has from the past. We played over to Yunus Mali. Stefan will be bringing it back. Uh, I would have loved to score another one with Mali. It didn't work out. 90th minute, it's over, boys. 3 0. Hanover was a team that hasn't lost in their first two games, but now we are back to our full strength. Yes, we might have lost our first game, but Wolfsburg is showing against the likes of Eintracht and Hanover that those are the teams that we definitely are going to be beating this season. Hopefully, we can continue the good form. We need to be able to beat teams like this throughout the whole season just in order to be able to compete with the likes of Dortmund and Bayern because those, those teams are not going to be losing against the likes of Hanover and Eintracht as well. So we need to stay focused. And in the big games with the likes of Dortmund, Bayern, Bayer Leverkusen, Schalke, Leipzig, those are the ones where we need to shine and just grind out victories. Hopefully, though, we will continue like this against the smaller sides. Even though we are on great form right now, that doesn't mean anything. The good thing is, though, you can see Yunus Mali at the top of the top scoring list right now. I want to see if he's up there as well with the assists. Yes, he has two so far. Vitinho, two assists for himself. De Marcos and Camacho with two goals. Very, very um, awkward to see those two in there. But our next opponent will be Stuttgart. Now, if you take a look at the league, table we are doing well it's good for the start but Dortmund have lost we are on the same point as Dortmund so they have already lost what about Bayern Bayern have lost as well what the hell is going on Hamburg at the top of the league table that was the other team that we thought about doing a road to glory with but apparently we don't need to they can handle it themselves, boys. We just need to help out Wolfsburg. Freiburg, Leverkusen, Gladbach in the top four right now as well. That's awkward, but I'm pretty sure that pretty soon we'll have Wolfsburg, Dortmund, Schalke, Bayern all in the top four. And then we'll be fighting for the title in between us. It would be quite surprising if Hamburg can keep this up. So we'll see how that goes for them. Currently, though, Wolfsburg on an amazing form. The signing of Kevin Vogt, boys. It is huge. I can tell such a difference in our defense. It is unreal. So I'm really, really glad that we have brought in um, three defenders in this transfer window because that was just so important. Our defense just wasn't good enough. I want to thank you guys for all the comments you have left. So again, in the top right corner, you have the voting that I already talked about. But this team is slowly but steadily getting better and better. And I cannot wait to see where this season will take us. I am absolutely in love with Vogt. I will probably keep on praising him in the future. You guys that have suggested him, you're absolute legends. We'll see each other in the next episode where we try and play against the teams like Stuttgart and then getting closer and closer to Bayern. So we might have the Bayern game in the next episode. We'll test ourselves once again against one of the biggest sides, if not the biggest side in Germany, and hopefully not fail as much as we did against Dortmund. Take care, boys. Have a great day. See you in the next episode. Hit that like button if you haven't already. And yeah, peace.